the number one way shaitan likes to attack the ummah and for a reason <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Got the satellite dish behind me. Uh, this is Amin Usir, our masters developing the Muslim mindset for success. What is it, you know, when we think of the biggest challenges facing the Ummah and where that is all stemming from, uh, you know, what, what is it that people say? They say it's, um, you know, that Iman is too low. They say uh, lack of resources, you know, not enough money. A lot of Muslims are poor. They say, uh, the enemies are too strong, the enemies are plotting, the enemies have no morals, they just kill, they'll do anything. They say uh, education, you know, we don't have good enough education. Even in the developed world, you know, Muslims are not educated enough, etc, etc. Let me bring it back to this. And you know, subhanAllah, it's interesting how usually the solution is always to look back at the foundation, build the foundation. What is the foundation? I would agree that it is your Iman, but from a community perspective, right, what is it? What is it? When I see the big calamities happening, I always bring it back to the one brick that will build the wall of the Ummah. And that wall is made of many bricks and they're all cemented together. But those bricks in the first place, they have to be very solid themselves, otherwise there's no point making a wall in the first place. And so I would say that brick is the family unit. Now, Shaitan, he knows, right? He knows how to destroy the Ummah, right? And what does Shaitan love so much? He loves that man and wife get divorced. He loves that the family unit is broken down. He knows, he, he knows why the main, the key point to attack Right, he knows what will work and he knows attacking the family is the best thing. That's why he is so happy when man and woman gets divorced, right? So, you know, that's how we have to think of it really. Number one, I would say Iman. Number two is family unit, you know. Now let me go into the, the problems that a lack of cohesive family unit, um the the, the co problems that it causes broader than just in the family. Okay. Firstly, it will no doubt affect education, right? Children that don't have solid parenting and they don't have support from their family, they don't have a supportive environment, they're not really gonna be able to thrive in education. Same when it comes to getting jobs, they might lack confidence, right? Because, for example, yeah, their parents, their mother, father always fighting. Their dad is agitated because of it and therefore he doesn't ever compliment and encourage his children, so they lack confidence from childhood all the way up until they're seeking jobs you know that's a very that's a real real example um then uh another way actually uh, beyond just divorce and stuff like that another way shaitan tries to destroy the family is to destroy the difference between men and women and you know basically feminism right um the the kind of raw definition of feminism is that men and women are the same right they're mostly they're the same same and therefore, there's no gender roles, there's no men do this, women do this. This is one of the tr tr tools that Shaitan uses to destroy the family unit. Um, you know, men and women are created differently, they have different roles. They're equal in terms of value, but uh, they do have different roles. And as soon as, you know, we start to accept the idea that they're the same, that is one another yet another way of destroying the family unit. Because if a man is not taking on his role that is built into him, by nature then he will inside deep inside he's going to be agitated and same with the woman right if she's not doing what she was you know it's built into her she's going to feel agitated when the agitated relationship will not be good children will not be raised well you know you raise a boy to think that you know a boy is just like a girl and a girl is just like a boy and raise them like that again they're going to feel uh, they're gonna have a lot of problems right and, and we can see this in the developed world where they kind of try to throw that idea out the window that men and women are different they they, they kind of confuse between equality in value and equality in roles and duties and um, specialities if you like 
So these are different ways, you know, divorce, um, bad parenting, uh, gender, the whole uh, gender movement. All these are tools Shaitan uses. So what can we do? Well, how can we how can we counter this? Well, we just gotta, you know, it's very easy to look right to look at the oh he's he's a sheikh he's a alim he's um you know an activist he's um i don't know doing great research oh she's got a huge business oh she's a great uh, i don't know she's on tv she's a journalist it's easy to look at all the flashy lights and uh, this is a theme that's coming up in my videos so much you know uh, about not seeking glory you know they're all doing that but perhaps they're neglecting the number one thing or the number one and two things they need to be focusing on and that is their Iman and their family unit. And so if you would just focus on your family unit, you'd already be doing a great, great job. Let me just end it with this. You know Malcolm X, he's known for his activism. He became Muslim, alhamdulillah, and he died Muslim, alhamdulillah. However, he was a very busy guy. Even when he was with Nation of Islam, he was 100% dedicated to the cause. He was driving up and down. He had a little car. I read his biography. He had a little car. He's driving all around the U.S. serving the cause, the Nation of Islam cause. Now, when he became Muslim, um, when he became Muslim, he was equally busy. Um, and so you kind of get the idea that his family was neglected. I think he had four kids. Anyway, he has he he has grandkids now, and you know one of them is a bit, um, let's say, not too Islamic. Another one, you know, I heard his his grandson or his son or something tried to burn his own mother's house down, like he set the house on fire. So Subhanallah, I'm not saying it's because he was busy with activism. Who knows really why this happened? But it's just a reminder to me that you always got to go back to the foundations and that is that family unit that you got to keep strong. Once that's strong, you've got the habits in place to keep it strong. You know, you're, you're taking your wife out here and there. You go with your husband. You're, you're, you've got times where you sit with your children and all that. When things are solid, and they're, they're good, then you start thinking of activism, etc, etc, etc. So again, it's not glamorous. It's not glamorous, Allah. You know, you don't get glory and praise for just being a good family guy, family woman. You don't get that. But this is extremely, extremely important because having a weak family unit creates social problems, creates, in the end, it creates poverty, it creates all these problems, Allah. And so, uh, just got to keep your eye on it. Uh, and this is real, that, that real Sira Master's mindset stuff, really. Developing the Muslim mindset for success. So, no matter how far you look and aim, always have the family unit the strong family unit as one of your aims integrated into those dreams you have because wallahi if you don't have that your foundation is weak you know so uh you know do what you can and include that in your goals inshallah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah Thanks for watching that video, hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in how to design your mindset and design your lifestyle as a Muslim so you can get everything you want done, then make sure you subscribe to this channel for at least weekly videos and check out the website right there where you can download free mindset resources and look at our blog with all the articles and stuff there. Uh, check it out and uh, see you.